Hi, and welcome to the Spotlight Series presented by the National Cryptologic Museum. My name is Spencer Allenball. I'm the Collections Manager here, and this is Rob Simpson, our librarian. Hi. Today we have a pretty cool artifact. So this is a just an Underwood code machine. Now it just looks like a normal typewriter, but as you can see here, there are regular, uh, just the regular Roman type on there, but also there is the Kana type right underneath. And it's kind of hard to see, but you can see those letters right underneath there. So to give you a little bit of background on this device, in 1924, I'll pose you a quick question. How many Japanese linguists do you think they had in the US Navy? A hundred. A hundred? Close. They had two. So Nailed it. essentially, they really needed to figure out a way to cut down on the time it took to transcribe these meshes and intercepts that they were catching. So what someone thought of, and that someone in particular is Lawrence Fry Safford, he thought up an idea of a typewriter that had both Kana code and the regular Roman type on it, uh -huh. which would make it easier to type down this stuff and send the messages off so that they could be decoded. Now, with this here, what he did was he took that idea, took it to Underwood Code Company, and they developed this typewriter so that they had one working. That made it so even though they had these two Japanese linguists, right. it made it super easy for them to just, as soon as they heard it, type it and send it. So essentially, when they heard, say, the, the Morse code version of what they were looking for, they would type that letter instead of having to write it down and then figure it out. And one of the biggest things that's always mentioned is they were actually getting this stuff written down faster than they were than the Imperial Navy would have been actually writing it down. Um, because all they had to do was hit a button and then right. send it on their way. So it's something that really cut down on the amount of time. And in the war, time is money and time is lives. So time is actually one of the biggest things that helped them get uh -huh. everything they needed. Now, the cool thing about this typewriter in particular is that it actually came from Station Hypo. Uh, for those of you that aren't familiar with Station Hypo, it was the main radio signals and monitoring division out in Hawaii. And it's where uh, Joseph Rocher was, right. and that's where during World War II they had a lot of their intercepts coming in and they were trying to crack codes and everything along those lines. Now, this came from there, meaning that they were using this through all the way through World War II. So even though this thing was developed in the tw early 20s, mm -hmm. it still got tons of use. Um, it just shows how important it is to have a device that could do those certain things. And one of the other cooler things is this one has Japanese kana code. I've seen some with Cyrillic code as well. So they were used in other languages as well. Um, do you have anything else you'd like to add on that? So by kana, you mean? The Japanese Morse code. Right. And so, so it's in, but it's in Latin letters. It is, not in, yes. Not in kanji script. Right. Mm, no, exactly. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and so the... the um, that process is called transliteration, where you take a, a foreign language that's in a foreign script and you put it into English letters. Mm -hmm. So you said this came from Station Hypo um, and you mentioned code breaking. What codes were they working on there? So they've been working on JN25 or most of the JN series because there were other codes right. in there. Um, now we have a ton of other devices they would have used. This would have been one that they would have cut it down, but they also had working aids as well that they would have used mm -hmm. to find depth, things like that. Um, and it's, it's just really interesting to see the kind of workarounds that they would find. But this would have been a main one in that, in that development of making things or crack those codes faster. Right, and the fact that this is the typewriter from Station Hypo is, it makes it amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Do you have anything else you want to add? No, other than to say uh, thanks for joining us. And we hope you have a great day.